A few days ago, my mom assigned me the unlucky task of putting together a video reel for my grandparents' 50 year anniversary. You're so great with the editing stuff and plus, I bought the analog to digital converter. That's already half the work right there. All you need to do is connect our VCR to our computer and go through the tapes. Please help me with this, sweetie. It would mean so much to them. My summer had just started and I was already being put to work. I groaned and brought the tape she left down to our basement to try and find our VCR player. After sifting through what felt like hundreds of boxes, I found it. But after I plugged it into our TV, I quickly found out why we went digital. It's broken? Well, did you try and blow in it? My mom deserves the Nobel Peace Prize for that idea. Mom, VCR players are ancient. Giving it mouth to mouth is not going to make it work. Well, I left you and your brother some money for the week while I'm out of town. You can use some of that to buy another one. I'm sure you can find another for cheap. As she said this, I looked at the kitchen table and saw the money she had left. My flight's about to board here any minute, Ronnie. Please just do your best to get this handled. I love you. Alright, have a safe trip, Mom. Love you too. I hung up the phone and went off with my goal to find the cheapest VCR player I could find. That way we could use the rest of the money to junk out on pizza and fast food the rest of the week. I found one almost instantly at the thrift shop in town, and immediately bought it. The quicker this got done, the quicker I could get back to lounging around, and spending my summer how it was supposed to be spent. Doing nothing. After racing back home and setting up downstairs, I breathed a sigh of relief when the VCR player turned on. I grabbed a tape to load, but it wouldn't budge as there was already a VHS tape inside. Hitting the eject button led me to see an oddly red colored VHS tape with a label that had a smiley face on it. Curiosity got the best of me as I reloaded it and hit play. A blue screen lit up my TV screen with the word play in the top left corner. Next, a still black screen with a few of the classic VHS scratches here and there, before a title appeared. Happy times. What I saw will be engraved in my head forever. It cut to a woman who was bound in an office chair in a dimly lit room, with tears streaming down her face. She was dressed in a scantily colorful sheer shirt. Two people in clown suits, both dressed like this, joyfully popped up and creeped up behind her. They almost mockingly comforted her, pinching her cheeks and drying her tears, as one of the mascots began to paint her face, while the other started testing out an assortment of colorful wings on her. They both began making this inhuman whimpering sound as her cries grew louder. They continued prepping her for whatever disturbing thing awaited, until they both seemed satisfied and rolled her out of the room. What followed was her ear-piercing scream. My stomach was in knots as the screen faded to black. I felt a drip of sweat reach my brow. I nearly jumped out of my skin as I heard my phone ding with a couple of texts, but I couldn't look away. This was like watching a car accident. I wanted to stop, but was glued to the screen. Was this some kind of sick joke? Maybe some sort of performance art project? I had seen some pretty disturbing things on the internet. But somehow this felt worse. Another title screen appeared. Performance of a lifetime. A spotlight emerged to reveal a stage. And on that stage was a guy dressed in a monkey outfit. While being struck to a hand truck. 
he shared the stage with a bunch of broken animatronics. They all stood in front of an empty audience. A slight tapping and a voice whispering could be heard off screen. A one and a two and a one, two, three. A piano kicked off a tune while the guy in the outfit began to sing through a trembling voice. Make him laugh, make him laugh. Don't you know everyone wants to laugh? His singing was interrupted by a dart that whizzed past his head, just barely missing him. Suddenly, a laugh track started playing while someone off screen continued hurling items at him. A stapler, a glass, and baseball were all thrown, each item just teasing him with every near hit. It rattled the guy further and further until he burst out in tears. His hysterical cries grew louder as the laugh track was now almost deafening. A deep voice shouted, Keep going. Just then, a hammer was thrown and about to strike the guy's skull. I instantly turned away and turned everything off. I was now shaking in a cold sweat. I thought about calling the cops, but had no idea how to explain this. They might just chalk it up as some dumb prank, or just tell me I'm out of luck and to get rid of it. My brother was at a friend's that night, but I figured he could give some better advice on what we should do when he gets back. I decided I'd try to forget about it, unwind a bit, and order a pizza while binge watching a few shows before bed. It was hard to get to bed with the images of what I had seen in my head. Just as I started to doze off, I heard a buzzing sound in our basement living room. I ran downstairs to see what it was, and saw the TV and VCR was now playing again. Another black screen with the title, Local Delicacy. I was frozen in fear as I watched a guy tied to a wheelchair situated at a table. He was a rather large looking man, who was wearing a birthday hat and a bib. Someone off screen brought a food cart to him with a bunch of bizarre grotesque looking entrees. The person began feeding the man a sample of each dish. One was a cheese wheel with what looked like maggots crawling out of it. The next dish was a live octopus being shoved down his mouth. The man quivered and gagged as he put down each food. The person who was concealed walked the food cart away while another person came on screen to place a tray in front of the man and remove the cover. It was a birthday cake. As they cut the cake, a dark colored liquid leaked out. They started shoving clumps of cake down the guy's throat until he started choking. The hands off screen hit him in the back and after a few strong coughs, the guy threw up what he was choking on, a human toe. I couldn't stomach any more and ran to the bathroom to puke. I needed to call someone immediately but was hit with a cold realization. Who turned everything on again? I crept back upstairs towards my room to grab my phone and saw my worst fears come to life. The door had been unlocked. I nearly fainted as I saw our kitchen lights now on with a shadow lurking about. I slowly turned the corner getting ready to bolt upstairs when I saw my brother rummaging through the leftover pizza. With a face full of pizza, he blurted out, What's up, Ronnie? Jesus, Tim, you scared the hell out of me. What are you doing here? He could tell I was a little less enthused to see him. John wanted to sneak out to go see his girlfriend, so he dropped me off. I tried texting you that I would be back later, and that I didn't have my key on me. I figured you saw it since you left the door unlocked. I guess I didn't see your text. Hey, why'd you turn on the basement TV? Tim's answer sent a shiver down my spine. 
What are you talking about? I haven't been downstairs yet. I told him about everything that had occurred and thankfully he believed me. We searched the house for any sort of intruder before making a decision on whether we should call the cops. But we found nothing. Tim shrugged off the incident and suggested that I had probably just forgot to lock the door and left the TV and VCR on from earlier. I tried to rewind and show my brother the tape, but it wouldn't play. It was as if the tape was now defective. Maybe it was one of those low budget horror films, or just some kind of elaborate prank. Just bring it back to the thrift shop tomorrow, and ask where it came from. I didn't really have any room to argue with him, so the next day I headed back to the store. Unfortunately, I can't say where that VCR would have come from. Most of our inventory comes from donations. The store clerk gave me another dead end. One last idea crossed my mind as I got back home. Take apart the VCR. I brought the VCR to my garage and flipped it on its back. The back panel came off surprisingly easy, as if it had already been tampered with. Inside the VCR hid something burrowed. It looked similar to an air tag. Hey Ronnie, you got a package. My brother handed me a manila package with my name on it. As I walked back in with the VCR, my heart sank as I opened it. I already knew what it would be. Another red VHS tape with a label that simply read, Hello, Smiley Face. I panicked and plugged the VCR back in to see what it played. This is what I saw. A video that shows someone in clown makeup, an animatronic, and a clown. If I live through this, I'm only watching digital from now on. Thanks everyone for making it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed the story, be sure to leave a like and a comment. In the description, I will link a video of the VHS tape in which the author received.